These are your top 5 things to consider before buying a Royal Enfield Himalayan 450. Number 1 is the engine. It has a great engine, but it is rough between 90 to 110, which is usually the cruising speed on highways. There is a noticeable buzz which is generated on the pegs and the handle bar, but it is bad. The second one is the overall quality which is mediocre compared to other brands like KTM. I've had a few a leaking issue from the keyhole already and there is a cone set issue which I'm trying to resolve. Third one is the low end torque which is noticeably low and it makes it an issue to drive within the city which is already difficult for a big bike like Himalayan. This can maybe be resolved by using a ECU remap. The fourth one is the headlight and seats which are absolutely trash. The headlight is absolutely weak in the highways and the seat is beyond bearable even for a couple of hours. The last one is the navigation which is next to useless as it requires your phone to be always on if you want to use the maps on your cluster and this drains the battery heavily. 